had a question come in about some notation um, from problem five from week three's homework. And so I just wanted to briefly discuss the notation and, and also get you started on this problem. So I want to talk about some different set notations that you'll see. So the complement of the set, the complement of a set is just mm, taking that universal set where the, the the particular set lives in and just removing the set. Okay, so so let's think about, let's suppose we've got some set S and he lives in some universal set here. Okay, so this is our only set in our universal set, he just lives there. Well, okay, so if I'm trying to think about S complement, now S complement you'll see denoted s several different ways, okay? Um, you might see it as S uh, bar, S with the bar on top, S, oopsies, S apostrophe or S dash or S with a C on it. So you might see the complement of a set denoted in all these different ways, okay? And all this means is take your universal set and subtract S or yeah, so it's just everything outside of S. If you take the complement of a union of two sets, it becomes the intersection of the complements. So what I'm going to do is use these Venn diagrams to demonstrate this equality. So I'm going to prove this equality to you. Okay, so I'm not really going to do the actual problem, but this this process should help you understand how to deal with that bar, okay? So as I must mentioned before, this notation might be given in a variety of ways just depending on the text and the website that you're looking at. So just be aware that this bar or this uh, apostrophe or this C in the sub superscript is, they all mean meaning complement of the set if you're in the context of a set, okay? Um, so it means take the set that's indicated, so like in this case A intersect B, and remove it from the universal set. So I want to just prove to you one of these properties here. I think I'll prove that the complement of A union B is equal to the complement of A intersecting with the complement of B. So if I think about A union B, so this is everything in A and everything in B. Now this whole rectangle contains my universal set, so if I remove the regions that have A union B, or that are covered by A union B, all I'll have left is A union B. So I'm going to go ahead and write what A union B complement is right here. So this is A union B complement. Now I want to show that that's the same thing as the intersection of A complement and B complement. So in order to do that I need to understand what A complement is and what B complement is. So I'm going to go ahead and do these in two different colors to see how they intersect. So let me do A complement in blue. So A complement is just anything that's outside of A. So it'll, I'll take region 4 and region 3 since those are the only regions outside of A. And then B, I'll take as green. So B complement is anything outside of B. So I'm going to take region 2, region 4. Okay. Now, you can see the only place where there's green and blue is region 4, right? So if I take A complement and intersect it with B complement, I just get region 4. So here all I had was region 4, here all I had is region 4, so that means that they are equal. So hopefully that gives you a little bit under better understanding of what that bar means in problem five and also gives you a little bit of a tool there on, on dealing with the problem at hand. So I will talk to you soon. Let me know if you have any questions or issues with this.